So pretty cool trick. As you can see, these are pretty foggy. These headlights are pretty hazy, and you might not be able to tell quite a bit. But all I did is I used a tube of just regular Crest toothpaste and a toothbrush and scrub it, and then it comes out looking like this. Took me about maybe five minutes. As you can see, I didn't get it perfect. There's still a little bit of, you know, oxidation there from the sun beating down on it, but you can see just from the sides and everything compared to this one, it's just night and day. All it took was a dollar tube of toothpaste and a little bit of elbow grease. You might be able to see it a little bit better up from here. You can see this one is quite a bit foggier than this one. It's a lot more clear. And it can get unsafe if you let it go too long. It can be pretty unsafe and a lot harder to drive at night. So pretty easy fix, cost me a buck. This is just regular, regular pace, as you can see right there next to my thumb. Regular pace means it's a little grittier and it's able to, to almost grind down that top surface of the light. Set it, I'm gonna go all the way in on it. Here, I haven't even touched some of the sides here. I already started applying the toothpaste. I'm just gonna go here real quick literally took me less than five minutes on the other one all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna scrub real hard if you get it a little bit on the paint no big deal all I did is took a I have a couple uh, wet paper towels up there a couple dry ones to right, so the first one as I mentioned I already had done the first one here we are we, this one is really oxidized this is covered it in toothpaste I'm just gonna start rubbing it off Obviously, this is not my profession, not the best applier of toothpaste and, and the best rubber offer. But as you can see, I got years of oxidation on. That's just from one coat of toothpaste. You can still see there's a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of film there. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but you can just see how clear this is. A, this car is from, it's a 2010 Prius, so you got like eight years of oxidation, just sun beating down on it here in Southern California. These are, you know, at least makes them look relatively new and the most importantly, just more safe to drive with. Next step, and I don't need to belabor this at all, is I use this plastics on it and you can see now, it looks pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. This is Meguiar's plastics. I'm going to do the same thing to this headlight. I mean, as you can see, there's still a little bit of oxidation from the toothpaste, you know, even after the toothpaste. I'm just going to use this compound right here, just this little disc that it comes with, and just another two minutes, and it's going to come out looking pretty much brand new. Just look how bright and shiny that is compared to where we started. I'm just rubbing this stuff in. It's super easy. You just put it on this disc, wipe it in. The key is you don't want to let it dry. You want to get it, you want to get it up. No bells and whistles. Just a, just a rag, some paper towels, some toothpaste, and some Meguiar's compound. You can still see there's a little bit of, of wear, and that could be on the inside of the plastic from the heat. I could just be making that up, but so um, at least you can see, you know, the rest of the headlights is freaking shiny. This one, you know, part of you think, oh, you know, just because it's wet, this is definitely not wet. This is completely dry to the touch. You can see compared to where we started, that thing is crystal clear. So, back on the road. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If anyone used this tip, please comment and let me know that it was helpful to you. Um, again, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my videos. I have more content to come. I'd love to help provide even more tips to help your car look in the best it can and on the road for your passengers. Um, I even take troll and hate-filled comments, so I'll take it all. I'm pretty thick-skinned if there's anything you suggest that I fix about the things that I'm doing, let me know. And again, just have a great day.